Hey, what's going on, everybody? Tactical Citizen, Tactical Citizen TV here. We're going to do a uh, tabletop gun review on the CZTS2. Great gun. So let's start with a few of the specs. You know, I like to start with the specs, get that shit out of the way. Um, it comes with 20 round magazines. Let's see, I got my uh, trusty computer up here first. Uh, nine millimeter, of course. Competition handgun. It's designed for competition. Um, let's see. Grips are thin aluminum. Frame is steel. A barrel length is 5.28 inches. The overall weight is 48 and a half ounces. The overall length is 8.86 ounces. Height 5.8 inches. Uh, I said ounces. 8.86 inches. Uh, height 5.8 inches with 1.57 inches. So it's just a little bit slimmer than the P320s. Um, that's okay. All right. Uh, ambidextrous manual safety. Safety stop on the hammer. This is a hammer fired gun. Uh, now, flat face trigger, uh, extended mag extension. It's got the safety, the pedal safety on it, kind of like a gas pedal um, for it. Long extended beaver tail. Uh, let me switch to this one here so we can see it. We will see that the gun is uh, clear, nothing in it, magazine's out. Okay, uh, so you can get a good look at it right here in your face. The CZTS2 is the big brother to the uh, CZ75, the SPO1s, the PO7s, PO9 series. It's a bunch of series. This is the competition version. They have a TS Orange, TS Checkmate, TS2. Um, it's kind of like the uh, Aki Shadow, the CZ75. I've had them all. Um, the TS2 was what I landed on uh, because it serviced all of my needs that I needed at the time uh, and the other ones were just overpriced and I was able to get them off for pretty much what I bought them for so it wasn't really a loss. Uh, my shooting experience with the TS2 is basically, it's always been great. No failure to feeds, no failure to ejects. Uh, it's, I probably run about a thousand rounds through it now. Um, it does get on the heavy end with long strings of fire. Uh, it's a weighted gun, of course, 48 and a half ounces, not light, flat face trigger. The trigger is amazing. Uh, the take up and the reset uh, is very short. Uh, trigger's crisp, probably three and a half, four pounds. I might start doing uh, the trigger pull gauge on these guns so you can see what the trigger pull are. They're going to, the trigger pull is always going to change with use and time. It gets a little lighter. Uh, and then sometimes the factory comes out, it might say four pounds, but it comes from the factory at 3.2. It happens. Uh, very accurate gun. Uh, I don't miss much with it. Um, I have not used it in any type of competitions. Uh, the one thing that I do like, I'm switching this real quick. Look how extended that mag release is. I mean, that's a that's a small baby dick on the side of this gun. Uh, but it is super easy to reach and manipulate without changing your grip. Uh, that is super important. Uh, not super important. Don't let me lie to you. It's somewhat important to me not to have to change my grip to drop the mag. Uh, I know a lot of people sell the extended mag releases and stuff like that, but for this to come out like that, perfect. I mean, I, I can literally grab the gun and hit the mag release without changing my grip, okay? Uh, what else can I say about it? Uh, it's an absolute great gun. Uh, awesome shooter. Uh, if you have the means and availability, pick one up. They were roughly about 1600 uh, when I bought this one, it may be still in the same price range. Who knows? But uh, if not, let me know. All right. So, listen, that's going to wrap it up. I did that. I, hey, I did that. Diesel, dude, I did that. Anyway, um, those are the dogs, Diesel and Duke. Uh, they just wanted to make sure there wasn't nobody coming in this motherfucker. Anyway, we're going to wrap it up. I appreciate you guys. Click like and subscribe if you like these videos, if you want more content, if you'd like me to talk about anything different. If you don't like what I'm talking about, comment below. I absolutely love the hateful comments. It makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. I mean, I don't know why it boosts my confidence up in myself every time I see some dumb shit. It just does. I'm happy for you guys. I love it. 
because uh, the one thing I understand is anyone who's doing better than you is never going to hate on you. I live by that credo. So if you're hating, I'm pretty sure you're poor and broke. Uh, matter of fact, I'm not pretty sure. I'm absolutely sure. Uh, or at least poorer and broker than I am. And I don't, I'm not really a rich guy. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, hey, man, love you guys. Appreciate the subscribers. We're up to like 1,070 subscribers or something like that. Keep pushing it up. Uh, we're going to start bringing a little more comedic content. We're going to do a couple of podcasts and everything. We're going to get it done. Thanks, you guys.